Opportunity is nowhere. What do you see? Okay. Anybody see anything else? Opportunity is now here. Right. Now, there's no right or wrong. And by the way, I don't know why. I think it's because nowhere is actually a word. But 95% of the people say what you said. And that is, opportunity is nowhere. What do you see? Okay. This is about perception. Now, it doesn't mean anything that you read that that way, because everybody does that. But it helps me make my point that those same letters can be seen in diabolical opposites, can't they? Opportunity is nowhere. I mean, woe is me. I don't have a chance. Or opportunity is now here right in front of me. Yahoo! Away I go. Okay? You know, and I, I bring this sort of discussion to the very part, uh, opening part of the sales and marketing course because we want to talk about how you approach sales and marketing, how you approach your attitude towards it. And as Churchill says, a pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees an opportunity in every difficulty. You know, it's just about how we look at things. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to be good at this, if you want to be good at sales, you need to be a positive person. You need to smile, you need to be active, you need to realize you're going to get no's, and that's just part of the game. It's all about what you believe and how you act. And at the bottom, you know, it says attitude is in your control. Anybody read the book Fish? You've read the book Fish, Fish Tales, the follow-up book as well? I haven't so, read the follow-up. Yeah, there's a, there's a follow-up as well. It's a pretty cool little story, a little thin book. It's actually about a Seattle fish market, okay? And it's a great book. They have four basic tenets in this book. But what the book is about is um, a Seattle fish market. Well, can you imagine something that's worse than that? I mean, gutting fish and smelling and slopping and it's all over the place and packing them up and cleaning them. I mean, the whole idea of the book is that this is not a fun job and most people don't really enjoy this. <laughs> They've turned the Seattle fish market into a tourist attraction because the people are so happy to work there because of the environment they created. I mean, they throw the fish around, they throw stuff out at the customers and pull it back. And I mean, it's all about the people that work there still gutting fish, still cleaning them, still slopping their rubber boots, but they love what they do because they go out of their way to have fun at work and they have fun with their customers. Well, you know what happened out of this? They don't have anybody leave them because they love working there and they sell fish for like two bucks a pound more than the place right across the street. Just because people want to go there and see all these idiots throwing fish around and making jokes and throwing stuff out into the audience and giving away little plastic prizes. You know, this is what it's about. Anyway, that's what the book is about. And they talk about the fact that your attitude is in your control. That's part of the basic, one of the basic four tenets in the book. Now, they're not saying that each and every day you need to wake up and be the most vivacious and outgoing and happy and smiling Cheshire cat. Okay? That's not what they're saying because they know we all have down days. What they're saying is, okay, if it's a down day, just realize it. You can choose that for today, but act and interact the way you should based on that's the way you are today. Okay? And just realize that's the way you're going to be today. They're saying it is in your control. I believe that. I absolutely believe your attitude is in your control. And if you check your attitude each morning before you get up and realize uh, how I'm feeling today, and then plan accordingly, it makes all the difference in the world. It really does. So.